Hello and welcome back to the Jordi Pig Investor channel. Today I'm going to be going through my monthly update in my Invest Engine portfolio. This is the monthly update for April. We're going to see how my first month performed in the new ISA account that I have within Invest Engine, and we can also have a look at the remaining money that is left in my general investing account and how that has also performed. So over the last month, we can see, if I was to scroll down, that in the ISA account, we are actually down 1% this last month. The markets have been in a, a little bit of turbulence across the board, and every single sector has been suffering within my ETFs in my Invest Engine account. So if I click through into it, we can have a look. And if we have a look at the last month, Obviously, I only started it a month ago, so that is the full lot of returns. And we can see every single position pretty much is in the red slightly. We can see that actually, out of all of them, the emerging markets has performed the best, being basically level within the MSCI World Emerging Markets fund that I have. Obviously, such a small amount in as of right now, but that will start to grow month on month. And then the India FTSE Franklin that we have, stock ticker FRIN has actually been my best performer. So there was someone in the last video who commented saying, why is there much point in splitting your emerging markets between the two? You should just stick to an iShares MSCI World Emerging Markets Fund. Well, we can see that it's actually outperformed over the last month. And since getting into the FTSE Franklin, it has totally outperformed the emerging markets that I have. So I've got to admit that I am swaying more towards just totally ditching out of the emerging markets fund and putting the full 8% allocation into the FTSE India. As I do believe India is one of the best emerging markets right now and is going to perform very well over that long term period that I will be holding it. We can see the rest of my positions aren't down much this month. Very, very small amounts, only down 1.3% in the MSCI World Quality. 2.47% in the MSCI World Momentum, 2.15% in the S&P Small Cap 600, 1.74% in the UC99 MSCI USA Quality Factor World, and then in the Wisdom Tree Global Quality Dividend Growth, we are down just under 1%. So a very, very small negative this month, which I'm very, very happy to have because it just means this next month now, I'm going to be able to get another £100 in at a slightly better rate, slightly cheaper prices, and over the long term, I'm very confident within these ETFs. We can also see with Momentum, it is the most volatile out of a lot of them. So although this has been my best performer since opening up from the start, this month it has performed the worst. And it is one of those ones where you're going to have to accept that it's going to be up and down a lot more than the rest. And it's quite volatile. But for the most part, like I say, we've reaped the rewards thus far. And I believe that it will still continue to do so. So overall, we can see I'm down £1.72, which is 1.11%. And what we're going to do now is actually invest our next £100 for the month. So as we can see, I have £100 of cash in my portfolio right now. And that is going to be my monthly payment that I put in for May as I'm going to be putting in £100 every single month into these ETFs. So I'll press review order and this will go through. So we can see I'm going to keep the allocations as they are for now. And we're going to slowly start to build these positions up. On Invest Engine, it puts the money in your account uh, and invests it at 2.30 p.m. So it will be later today for me that that money will actually go into each of my ETFs and they will purchase it for me. But that's not a problem. And if I click back and show you my other ETFs, it is actually exactly the same if you do remember in my general investing account, but these were before you were allowed to have two ISA accounts. Hence why I have over 700 pounds. This was built up over last year. And I would move this all across, but you would lose your stats that you have. And for it being such a small amount, and I'm not in any risk of paying tax on this because it isn't above that £3,000 threshold that you can still make outside of an ISA account, I am just going to leave this position as it is for now. So if we look at the last month in here, it's going to be very, very similar because it is similar stocks in the portfolio. So it's got slightly different allocations in here, I think. So within this portfolio, it is actually down 2.8%. Reason being is that the prices that I purchased the stocks within this portfolio were cheaper. So obviously when they were on the downswing, they were hit a lot harder. Um, so we can see within this portfolio, I'm down closer to 3 and 4% across a lot of my stocks. But then that meant that the FTSE Franklin and the MSCI Emerging Markets are actually up slightly more on their positions. Very minimal amounts. And considering how well this portfolio has performed, if I had to show you over the last six months, still being up over 12%, I'm very, very happy with where it is. And like I say, it's always good to get in at a cheaper price. So I'm very, very happy to continue to buy into this 
at that cheaper price while it is there. I'm tempted to sort of put an extra hundred pounds in as well because I do have the money there available, but I'm gonna to stick to what I've said, just dollar cost average at the start of every single month, put that hundred pound in and have this as a set and forget. I really like this portfolio because it is just a set and forget for me. So I literally log into this at the start of the month, put my 100 pounds in, and then I can forget about it for the rest of the month and focus on my trading 212 portfolio, which has all of my main stocks in there and all my other ETFs. So overall, I'm very happy to just continue to buy into these stocks and I'm not looking to add any more ETFs into here. I believe eight is quite a lot as it is. So if anything, I would be looking like I've already mentioned to potentially cut out of the Emerging Markets Fund and drop it down to seven and then potentially look to cut one more out and drop it to six. But for now, like I say, I'm very happy with the positions and I will just continue to dollar cost average into these or pound cost average as we are in the UK every single month and watch the portfolio grow. If you like seeing these updates and seeing my portfolio and the positions that I do have and being as transparent as possible, you know, that's one thing that I preach on this channel and I will always be is show my portfolio as it is. I'm not hiding anything, not trying to sell out of any positions before showing you guys and pretend that I've made more money than I have. I'm showing everything raw footage as it is. So I hope you appreciate that and I will always continue to do so. If you do have any questions as, as to why I am invested into these ETFs, please let me know in the comment section down below and I'll happily be able to answer. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Let me know what you want to see in the future. What stocks do you have? Do you have a current Invest Engine account? If not, have a look in the link in the description as you can receive a free share when you sign up using my link. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And this is the Geordie Pig Investor. Over and out.